So what we have today is we have a 1986-87 Fleer Jersey Fusion mystery box. Very attractive box, too. I think the box is worth what I paid, <laughs> right? I don't know about that. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Vintage Sport Flips. This is a version of Jailbreak Pack Rip Battle. We're typically, me and Andy are opening a pair of vintage packs in a competition. Uh, but this is our new sportscars.com set break episode. We've done, I don't know, how many is this now? Four or five, Andy? Uh, yeah, I think so. This is the second of this box, though, right? Yeah, yeah. So what we have today is we have a 1986-87 Fleer Jersey Fusion mystery box from sportscards.com. So we did one of these already, and in that one we hit a... Jack Sigma uh, autographed player fusion card. You can see there's a piece of the jersey up in the corner. Yeah, they're all they're all authenticated by Beckett. Uh, so not the not the card we we're chasing, of course. <laughs> I mean, I I can't. It's still a cool card. I mean, can't you know? Anytime you get a signed '86 Fleer, uh, pretty cool. But definitely, and obviously, I came dressed for the occasion again. I got my <laughs> vintage champion Jordan Bulls jersey on. Uh, last episode, I had my. Uh, Salem caricature shirt of Jordan that didn't bring the luck. I'm hoping no. this might bring the luck. He also got a Sixers uh, hat on, so I don't know. Yeah. If, uh, I don't know if that's counteracting, pulling, pulling away the vibes from the Jordan yeah. jersey. But I'd be very happy with the Charles Barkley signed A6 Fleer. That's why I wore the Barkley right, AJD Zubaz. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. So, yeah, as we said before in the last episode, there are three autographed Jordan cards in this break. A, a regular 86 Fleer rookie signed by Jordan, two 86 87 Fleer stickers signed by Jordan, and then I believe 120 regular Jordan cards graded in this box, so or potentially in this box. But every other card is going to be autographed, slabbed by Beckett with some sort of Jersey Fusion uh, portion on the slab. So, yeah, we'll see. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it came back for seconds. I'm hoping we hit we hit a little banger on our last episode of our sports car sportscards.com breaks. So hopefully we're yeah. the luck keeps rolling. That's right. Need to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna slice this guy open here and then I will get it to the rip stage. Last time I had no idea how the box opened. This this time I think I have a little bit of an idea. I think you'll still mess it up though. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. Oh, yeah, it slides out, right? Doesn't it? Essentially? It popped open from the, the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, guess I got to cut the top. <laughs> I guess I, I didn't learn that well last time. There we go. Boom. All I'm right. Yeah, there's a lot you can hit out of this. So not just Jordan. You got like, you know, Isaiah, Olajuwon, um, a lot of those, a lot of players uh, in there. Oh, yeah. Jordan, Barkley, Malone, Olajuwon, Isaiah Thomas are the big rookies, but Clyde Drexler, Joe Dumars. Yeah. Like, it goes on. There's more than that. So any of those yeah. would be a nice, uh, a nice windfall, I think. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, any autographed. Rookie from 86 Fleer. I, I think the, the card we pulled last time, the Sigma, brings about a hundred dollars. So yeah. uh, they're gonna they're gonna all do pretty well. Very attractive box, too. I think the box is worth what I paid, <laughs> right? I don't know about that. <laughs> nice try though. Yeah. All right. So that's oh, you're, nope. you're preemptively <laughs> <laughs> lowering my expectations. <laughs> exactly. All right, let me uh okay. I do so remember we said last time if you hit if you get every card of that set, 143 autographed Jersey Fusion cards, you can trade them all for game use signed Jordan Jersey. <laughs> let me uh, let me get this out of here. Okay, put them back there a second. Here we have the empty box. Very nice box, as we said. I think there's another piece behind this, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Make sure I do this properly. All right. So we go, uh, which way we did last time? Right to left, I think we did? Maybe, yeah. But let's see. It is green. All right. So, we, we, well. 
Could be. A, I mean, is Larry Bird in this? I mean, he yeah, is. Yeah, I'm, yeah, Larry Bird's in there. That'd be good. Maybe Robert Parrish, or is he? Yeah, he's in there, right? Yeah, Parrish is in there. I mean, Danny you know, Ainge, maybe. I mean, it could be a Sonic. Could be a Milwaukee Buck, right? Yeah, probably I mean, the only one on the Milwaukee Buck, right? <laughs> the the only one we probably. I mean, we know we're not getting like Jordan Sixer <laughs> or Jordan. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's go a little further. Uh, there's the tail end of the signature. A ball. It's Mark basketball. Dwyer? No. Tar. <laughs> so, I think it's a, they might say all star, maybe. Uh, but I don't know. Let's, let's just get, let's go for it. Let's take the whole thing off. Oh, star. Oh, there you go. Mar Marcus Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> what? He really sold himself. Yeah. And that's why I thought, I mean, at least there's an all star. Marcus Johnson. Yeah, no, you gotta you gotta get that on there. That's that's a personalized autograph. Usually, when you get that extra yeah. editions, that's a tougher autograph. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. And you don't see Clipper stuff that much. But the interesting thing is, where where, where does that the jersey? Come from? Yeah, I don't know. Did that come from like Maybe, the top or something? I don't think I've never known well, they had green in the. No, maybe it's like the year after or something. We'll have to, we'll have to do some digging on that and see what that jersey color is. I was uh, pretty. I mean, five time NBA All Star. I was. You know, I would have been pretty excited, especially with the green. I would have thought for sure. That was, I mean, I guess Bird wouldn't have done that, but yeah, maybe yeah. Robert De Parrish. Dennis Johnson or someone, or I don't know yeah. who could have been a five time. I do not uh, know Mark. I think this all this all predates John Kemp, so I didn't know who the Sonics would have had. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's look at the back. So, so he played in Milwaukee. Oh, uh, uh, that's probably uh, earlier. Probably yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, this. that's probably it. Three yeah. for a loop there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, that's not. Unfortunately, it's not maybe the top green team. <laughs> no, no, but it's still pretty cool. And I think that's, uh, I mean, you got a five-time All-Star. I don't know how many times Jack Sickman made the All-Star team. We have to <laughs> do a little Google research on that. But this could be better. This could be better in the Sigma. Actually, so Jack Sigma was a seven-time All-Star. So oh, this is a bit of a downgrading. It's a bit of a decline, but that's all right. Yeah. Well, the, um, other, the other thing interesting, if you look, five-time NB All Star. He didn't even write. He didn't even spell NBA right. Uh, or he maybe he's kind of merging it together. NBA All Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. No, no. I mean, I'm not critiquing you there, Marcus. I mean, and maybe, maybe he's all... not a. Maybe he's not a five time NBA All Star. Maybe he's just five time NB All Star. National <laughs> National Bowling All Star. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What's still a cool card? I like it. I like it. I mean, again, not. Not what we're chasing again. I might have to go back to the drawing board uh, yet again. Oh, you're going back? To, I mean, maybe you can get a discount by by. Uh, well, well, they have a special. Dozen. They have a special today. We're filming this on Labor Day. They still have a sale going on, so I might have to do it today if I do it. <laughs> you should probably get a few so they know you mean business. Yeah, but there we have it. So Marcus Johnson. Again, I don't know a ton about Marcus Johnson, admittedly, uh, but I'll I'll do some research. All right, so there we have it. So I am only 141 jersey fusion cards away from trading for the Michael Jordan game used jersey. So again, that's uh that's like a, a couple of nice cars to get the build to that set, but probably not well, that, gonna do that. That's that's also to say that you wouldn't get a duplicate too. So oh yeah, absolutely. I mean you have to but you have to buy them on the secondary market. Yeah, right? oh, that's, that's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you have to do it that way, but I don't know how the math works. 143 times 100, but then you're not paying 100 for Jordan. You're paying in Barkley and Malone. So uh, yeah, yeah. You're probably hundreds, or I mean, obviously Jordan, you're paying thousands upon thousands. Jordan, yeah. I would assume many like Barkley or Isaiah, any of those big guys too would probably fetch in the thousands. I would think. Yeah, yeah. No, obviously, not a regular car, but a signed card. Uh, authenticated with the the fusion, Game used jersey, yeah. yeah I, I got to think you're right. I mean, I don't. I would think of Barkley as a couple grand, but I never looked them up. Yeah, I figured let's save that excitement for if we, if we ever hit one. But uh, <laughs> exactly. we'll save that for next time. Uh, <laughs> but we do have some fun sportscards.com set breaks on the horizon. I got a 57, 57 tops. A uh, what else I got? Oh, a sixty six like sixty six break where they're all grade seven or above. A uh, there's a vintage basketball set break, and check us out on our Wednesday night live podcast, Pastime Picks Podcast. We have a episode every Wednesday night, eight p.m. We have a fun giveaway in the live chat every week, and then lastly, our new uh, our newer channel, Rips and Brews. It's all about beer tasting and card chasing. We put out a video every week over there where we rip a 
usually modern, but some usually modern sports, some non-sports, some vintage. Yeah. And we open something up each week and pair it with a beer and we do beer tasting. And our goal is to put a short out a day over there of some sort of pack rip. We're, uh, we're three days and counting. So we're <laughs> early on in that process, but uh, we want to do that. We're going to, that's our goal. Off to a good start. Yeah. Yeah. It all starts somewhere. So <laughs> check us out over there and uh, check us out. We put these kind of episodes out every Thursday, 8 PM. And we'll, uh, we'll check you guys next time. Peace. Oh.